Hello everyone, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Arbitrum. In addition, I'm going to cover what this means for Chainlink, what this means for Uniswap, and then the Ethereum ecosystem in general. I'm going to go over everything at a high level, so you don't really need a technical understanding to understand how this layer two solution works. That said, I will include all of the relevant docs below. So if you have any questions um, and want to dive more into the technicals, definitely check out the description below. Before we get started, I do want to remind you to please like, subscribe, and then hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when I release a new video. So let's jump right into it. What is Arbitrum? Well, Arbitrum is basically the first L2 solution to arrive for Ethereum. Now, Optimism, a competitor to Arbitrum and a different L2 solution was going to launch a bit earlier, but their launch was actually delayed until about July. We don't have the exact details yet, so Arbitrum is going to be the first true L2 solution to launch. Obviously, this is extremely exciting, and I'm going to cover what that means for you, the end user of the Ethereum network. So first things first, obviously their official docs are a great resource. They do have a deep dive on inside Arbitrum. Uh, it does get a bit technical, so I'm really just gonna go over the key points that you need to understand um, as an end user. But again, you can always reference this main doc if you wanna read the full explanation. Basically, there are four main benefits to Arbitrum as an L2 solution. The first is trustless security, which means that the security is dependent on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, the second is compatibility with Ethereum. So if you have a decentralized application running on Ethereum, you can port that over to Arbitrum with no changes at all. This means that if you have something running on the Ethereum layer, you can get up and running on Arbitrum almost immediately. This means that as soon as Arbitrum launches on mainnet, we're going to see a ton of applications port themselves over to this L2 solution. Now the third benefit is scalability, meaning that this solution can handle a higher transactions per second rate than Ethereum mainnet can. This is because all of that computation and storage is done off of the Ethereum blockchain and on the Arbitrum L2 network. Lastly is the low cost nature of L2. Uh, what this essentially means is your transactions will have a negligible cost associated with them. So if you're spending say $50 to make a transaction on Uniswap, it's basically going to be virtually free on Arbitrum, which is incredible and a huge driver for users. Now, if you have any questions about the technicals of how they actually achieve this, uh, of course, the doc is linked below, but you can also come to our Discord community, the DeFi Innovation Discord, um, and you can reach out to us there and we're happy to help you and explain any concepts that I might have uh, missed in this video. I do also want to highlight their white paper. Um, it is pretty accessible if you want to read it. Um, it's pretty easy to understand and keeps things at a high level. I do want to briefly highlight the how to run your dApp on Arbitrum rollup section. Basically, when you're ready to launch your own rollup chain on Arbitrum, you just send a message from the Ethereum network to the ETH bridge, um, and that tells Arbitrum to launch your chain. Uh, that's pretty much all it takes. From that point on, if you want to deploy contracts, all you have to do is send the same transaction that you would send on Ethereum to the Arbitrum chain, and you're pretty much ready to go. I understand most of you watching this aren't developers, but I just wanted to highlight how easy it is going to be for people to build on Arbitrum. I think this is just going to lead to rapid growth right up front. To highlight that, I did want to touch on the big news coming from Uniswap. Uh, basically, the community engaged in a vote to deploy on Arbitrum. Again, originally they were scheduled to only launch on Optimism, so it's great to see that they're open to different L2 solutions, um, and they're going to be launching as soon as possible. So why is that so important? Well, I retweeted something the other day that I think highlights this. If you look at the bottom right here, that's Uniswap's share of gas in today's market. Based on this graph, it looks like Uniswap takes up half of the share of gas paid on the Ethereum network. That's absolutely staggering, and it means so many people are paying a ton of money to interact with Uniswap. Now, as I mentioned before on Arbitrum, it's almost going to be gas-free to interact uh, with smart contracts on that L2 solution. That actually has two benefits. One is we could see transaction volume increasing uh, through Uniswap in general, because now users are going to be able to transact gas-free or essentially gas-free on Arbitrum. Uh, but the second big thing here is that mainnet Ethereum is going to be much less congested. Consider that if all of the transaction volume of Uniswap went to Arbitrum, Ethereum mainnet would see a 40% reduction in gas usage, which would lead to a heavy decline on gas prices on the Ethereum mainnet. So the benefits really are twofold, and this is an absolutely huge announcement. I do think that because Uniswap is moving over, a ton of different protocols that tap into Uniswap and use Uniswap are going to move over as well uh, because it's so easy to port your app over. 
Now another huge announcement is that Etherscan is coming to Arbitrum. Now the goal here is to provide the same Etherscan experience that we get from Ethereum mainnet on Arbitrum. This won't be out until July, so Arbitrum did launch their own block explorer that will be ready for launch. I do also want to share this tweet that uh, has a picture of different apps that are coming to Arbitrum at launch. So we're going to see a Balancer app, an Aave app, Uniswap app, a Bancor app, and this is just going to grow as more people move to Arbitrum. They have an app rollout page that's currently blank. Um, I think they're waiting to do a big announcement tomorrow, so I will include that link below and definitely check back as soon as you see this video because it could be updated by the time you're watching it. Now, the other thing I've been hearing a ton about on Twitter and in the DeFi space is what this means for Chainlink. So if you're not familiar, Chainlink is an Oracle solution. It's one of the largest DeFi tokens out there. Um, it's extremely massive. It's a very well-established project. Um, and essentially, Chainlink will be supplying all of the Oracle services for Arbitrum. What this means is Chainlink will be delivering the price feeds, um, proving verifiable randomness, and then transferring L2 to L1 messages. I recommend you read this entire tweet thread, but there is one important one I do want to point out. And that is this tweet here that I want to point out. Uh, that The dApps launching on Arbitrum like Aave, um, MC Dex, and Bancor are all going to be using Chainlink data feeds, and they're going to be having to pay in the Link token to do so. Now, of course, this is not financial advice, but if Arbitrum takes off, uh, we would assume that the Chainlink network would also take off as well, and that would have positive pressure on the Chainlink or Link tokens price. Now, if you are interested in learning more about Chainlink and Arbitrum, I'll include a link to this Medium post below. Now, it is from February 14th, 2020, so that just goes to show you how long they've actually been working on this and how long we've been waiting for an L2 solution. I couldn't be more excited to see what this actually means for the Ethereum network, and I think it's going to be an amazing launch, and we're going to see a ton of volume move over from other networks like BSC and Polygon over to Arbitrum. I also think we're going to see lower gas prices on Ethereum as a result of a lot of Ethereum apps moving over or porting themselves to Arbitrum. This is just really going to open up the Ethereum ecosystem to all types of people that can't afford to pay high gas fees. One last thing I want to point out is this incredible thread that compares Arbitrum and Optimism, which again is coming in a couple of months. So this thread does a great job of comparing the two networks. Um, I don't want to spend the time going in depth into that in this video. Um, if you want to discuss that, please feel free to join the Discord. I'm sure a lot of folks are going to be talking about that. And then if you are interested, you can comment below if you want to see a video breakdown comparing the two L2 solutions. These are really the two main options out there, so it'll be interesting to see how much uh, Arbitrum benefits from a first mover advantage. I think if they're able to capture a ton of volume before Optimism launches, that could actually be very significant and a huge advantage for Arbitrum. Of course, we'll end up seeing, I don't have inside information, uh, but I'm excited to see how it plays out. And I'm mainly just excited that we finally have true L2 coming to Ethereum. So that's all I have for you guys. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to be notified. And then, of course, join the Discord if you want to chat with the community there. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.